All right, I want to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey for a second. I'll be dropping videos as usual when I have the opportunity in between things, but please, please, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you know when they drop because I have to just do them when I have a moment. My Patreon is my passion, as you guys know. And tomorrow is a big gossip day for us in the Patreon because I do all the big tea for the week and I pop it in for Tuesday's audio. And I've got some juicy tea I found out, holy crap, um, <laughs> this week. I know it seemed dry out there in gossip land, but oh, I, I had to work extra hard, but I did get us some good stuff. All right, so let's talk about a few things, okay? This is the first thing I want to talk about. So this poster dropped and shocked me because Teresa Judice and Melissa Gorga are on the ends, like bookends, and they're not in the center. Dolores, Jennifer Aiden, and Marge are in the center. And I'm like, that can't have made Teresa and Melissa happy because usually, you know, the more important you are on the show, the more you're the central, you know, point of the poster, and so we see them sort of on the ends. Like, you know, could it be that this family feud is going to end up getting both Teresa and Melissa downgraded in terms of importance on the show? See what I mean? This is season 10. Luca's in the middle. There's Melissa and Teresa. So it's almost like if they're not going to do family drama, Bravo saying, you're not that interesting to us anymore. And then Rachel Fuda cropped Teresa Judice out of the poster and was like one month ago so excited. And Melissa Gorga did this underneath. Dead check mark. Whoa, aggressive. So I wondered if maybe some of the animosity came from Louis Ruelas's old post. Remember when he did this? I guess one of the influencers, Real Housewives of New Jersey TV, reposted a, a conversation that Louis Ruelas had with an influencer. I guess Louis was trying to get some negative tea to the influencers to put online to hurt Margaret and Melissa. So basically the post is like Louis Ruelas going, yeah, there's Margaret saying this awful thing. You should tag Walmart because she's got to deal with them and that's how she makes her money and this will really hurt her with them if as a brand they think she's doing this. He went on to say that's how Margaret Josephs makes her money and I'll get you a contact at Walmart to send this video of Margaret. And if you don't know what this video is, uh, Kim D said that she found out it was fake, but it essentially was Marge saying a really awful term about people with a disability. I'll leave it there. Uh, and it was awful. And she said it wasn't real. And Kim D believes it wasn't real also. Uh, but they were going to send this video, I guess, to Walmart to get Margaret canceled or something. And then... Louis goes on to attack Joe Gorga. He says, I'm going to get you a contact at Walmart about Marge. And then he says, Gorga was fined $800,000 a few days for a building he took over and is fined so heavily. It's making people laugh out here. He's going to probably lose the property because he can't carry that for the year. And it's going to take something to get approved the permits. It's coming to me and I'll share it. And then he says, I've got a very busy morning, but I will get all this gossip over to you by this particular time so you influencers can share it. So somebody leaked his text messages. <laughs> now, we knew this was happening behind the scenes, like I said, a season and a half ago, but now the receipts have finally dropped and here they are. But to be fair, all the cast members on Real Housewives of New Jersey were talking to Louis Ruelas's ex, and so they were getting tea too. So he was doing what they were doing, but maybe a little bit of a darker approach. Now, no matter how nice Louis Ruelas is to Teresa Judice, and as you guys know on my live with Kim D, Kim said, you know, he was 
really in love with her and they were tight as thieves, I can't help but remember my episode 129 in the Patreon with David Brill, where he says this. Now, David was his ex-employer, right? So listen. He only made it through a semester of college, but that doesn't mean anything. The, the, that doesn't mean anything wrong with that. There was a lot of brilliant people out there. But he is a charmer, um, a narcissist. He's, he, he, he'll swaggle his way in and follow your coattails and then steal it right from under you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And look... I'm alive, I'm happy, I can afford a pizza and a six-pack of beer at the end of the week, so I'm happy. What do you think his intentions are with Teresa now on Real Housewives of New Jersey? I'm just like, because he, he's using her to get the fame, to get money, and I'm telling you this right now, those girls are in, in trouble. We'll stop that there, shall we? Hard, hard for me to get over that mountain. So I always look at things differently because of that interview and Vinivia, which of Louis Ruelas is promoting right now, they did a launch party on April 4th and some Bravo celebrities went and Teresa went with Louis Ruelas and, you know, the kids and, you know, they're really mad into promoting this company. It's a Switzerland based company. I was told by another person who called me that worked with Louis Ruelas that he has other reasons that he goes to Switzerland. So even though a lot of people believe that that's the reason he goes to Switzerland, I was told there's other reasons he goes as well. So as you guys know, there was an earthquake in New York and Melissa Gorga posted some security footage of her house with the earthquake, which I'll share for you in a minute. Uh, I was in the Northridge earthquake, so this didn't really impact me seeing this video because uh, the one in Northridge was crazy. Like my apartment I was in, because I was in college at the time, was like a deck of cards. It literally was swaying. The walls were swaying. It was so scary. Well, there's a lot happening in New Jersey. Things are going to be very different this season. I'm looking forward to the new season, seeing all this erupt. We already know quite a few of the plot points. We know Polly and Dolores are having issues. Teresa Judice and Louis Ruelas allegedly are having issues behind the scenes that they're not letting anyone know. He's spending her money and blah, blah, blah. Although Dolores doesn't think that's true, but that's being alleged by other cast members. Uh, John Fuda is going to get into it with Teresa Judice, where he's going to say she's a mortgage fraudster. And she's going to say, no, that's my husband, Joe, and distance herself from the crime. We've got Margaret Joseph allegedly. We have Margaret Joseph's allegedly having marital issues, although I heard that wasn't totally accurate. It was kind of like a fluff bullshit one storyline. Um, and and then, there's going to be some minor plot points. Jackie and Margaret are going to fight over Jackie's book and Margaret trying to take credit for it. But really behind the scenes, we know it's because Jackie found out that Margaret was the one to spread the rumor about her husband cheating at the gym. And then Jackie also is going to be found out that she met with Vanessa Riser on the show. And so she was trying to get dirt on Teresa by doing that, which is kind of weird because Jackie's going to become friends with Teresa this season. And so it's not going to make a lot of sense with that kind of origin background, which is going to create drama too. So anyway, that's it. <laughs> All right. Like subscribe and hit the notification button. Big kiss. <laughs> Boy, that was a mouthful, but I hope it got you excited about New Jersey. I feel like the fans are not excited. There's just a lot of animosity. A lot of the influencers that usually are promoting New Jersey aren't promoting it right now. And I miss them <laughs> no matter what side they were on. 
All right, well, let me know how you feel about all this. Are you like, this is nonsense. Teresa and Louie are in love and just leave them alone. Or are you like, oh my gosh, I'm just waiting for the bomb to drop. Or are you like, I love Melissa. She's a strong businesswoman. She just opened a store, Envy, and I have her back till the end. Or are you like, thank goodness Dolores is finally in the middle. She deserves it. And I like Dolores the best anyway. And, you know, what do you feel about Fuda? And where's the new housewives that we were supposed to have? Gosh, why can't we get some other castings in here? We need some more people. All right, let me know. <laughs> let me know how you feel about it. I know you guys are passionate about this, so let's do it.